Hey folks, Scott here. Just a short video I'm making on an up upgrade for this Hudson Farmer Tech kit saw, the 660. Um, just trying to make improvements and share the sharing them with you. So that's what this video is about. As you can see, I've already upgraded the handle, put a larger handle on the saw. This is an OEM steel uh, large handle for it. Um, when I first got the saw, I mentioned the fact that the compression release was a bother to me because these plastic caps come off. Uh, they've come off on other saws that I've put them on as well. Um, apparently the plastic cap, which is supposed to be pressed on that stud, gets hot um, as the motor runs. It expands and it pops off. I've lost a couple of them. And, while I was working in the woods and and uh, obviously they're hard to find so um, what I've done is I've uh, gotten a replacement for this that I think might work a little bit better I ordered these online from uh, someone on eBay I'll just show them to you um, these are what they call fail safe um, you can see there's a little bit of a stud in there to keep the cap from popping off and that's what I'm going to be in, uh, putting here in place of this one. It's my understanding that um, these are these are potentially hazardous to your saw. Um, without that cap on there, they can get hot and end up falling into the cylinder and causing all kinds of major damage to the saw. So I want to replace this one with one of these. Um, this came in a, a pack of two. I went down to the steel dealership to get a, a uh, OEM uh, compression release and they're about $15. I was able to get both of these for $15 on um, eBay. So these are called fail safe um, uh, compression releases and so this video is about that particular upgrade. On my 660, instead of doing an upgrade or changing out the uh, compression release, I just stuck a plug in uh, to remedy that problem. The 660's compression is not quite as severe as this one is. So that's how I took care of that saw. But for the 660, I'm definitely going to replace it with one of these. I'm also going to be swapping out this FarmerTech spark plug for an NGK spark plug.
Okay, the rest of this is pretty much gravy, so I'm not going to bother with the uh, recording the rest of the assembly, reassembly. But that's it. Hopefully, I'll see some. Well, at least feel better about about this, and maybe see a little bit improvement on that new plug. We'll see. Anyway, always making improvements. Always looking for improving the saw, making it better. All right. Thanks.